how are you? Today we are going to talk about one of those controversial rat topics, pine bedding for rats. I'm going to address three specific things about pine bedding in this video. There's more that I can discuss though, so if you have other concerns about pine bedding and want me to dig into those in the future, leave them in the comments. I'm not going to go over all types of bedding in comparison to pine either, but if you want me to break down other bedding individually, I can do that in future videos as well, because I love researching stuff to share with y'all. I've done a video previously talking about the pros and cons of the best beddings for rats, as well as some of the worst, but it has come up again recently, and I want to address some of the new reasons I have seen people say that pine is bad. Since most anti-pine users want small pet people to use paper, I will be comparing those two throughout the majority of the video. First, I want to make it clear, when I say pine, I do not mean raw pine. I am talking about dried pine. Some are labeled as kiln dried, some air dried, and some won't say at all. But as long as the bedding isn't wet, then it is typically safe and fine to use. Kiln drying is much faster, and as such, most manufacturers use that so that they can sell their products sooner. All bedding has a risk of something, though. You want the dried pine because studies show this to reduce the harmful VOCs down to the same levels as paper. Per this paper by Nana Anderson of Igloo Rats, VOCs are hydrocarbons, which can be harmful when they're exposed to them for a long period of time. She also mentions, we have to look at all volatile organic compounds, VOCs, in these wood types. Phenols are often demonized, but they are only one part of the puzzle. Pine is kiln dried in temps 200 to over 1000 degrees Fahrenheit, though this can vary depending on what the pine is being used for. Here's a clip from a scientific paper discussing that. This same paragraph also mentions that pine can affect the animal's body and how that needs to be considered when picking a bedding based on the study being done. This is one of the risks to pine, that it can cause issues with the liver, and this is the newest argument that I am hearing against it. From my reading though, liver issues are not really a concern unless doing a study that requires liver-based info. Rats that are used for liver studies are very different than our pet rats and are bred for these type of studies. Many other things can cause liver issues. Most commonly in the pet community, it is obesity. Sadly, it's prevalent in the rat community as well and even glorified as cute. Diet, genetics, misuse of antibiotics, misuse of acetaminophen, and so much more can affect a rat's lifespan. And they are so short that they are more likely to develop other health issues, which are much more common, like respiratory infections, tumors, or obesity. Pine does do something much better than paper bedding though, and that is control ammonia. In this study, paper, pine, and a few other lab-grade beddings were tested on ammonia control. The paper CareFresh bedding was nine times higher in ammonia parts per million than pine was. I've seen some people argue that this study wasn't fair because the bedding was left for two weeks and no pet owner would do that, but even divided in half, 122 divided by two equals 61 parts per million and pines 13 divided by two is 6.5. For perspective, if you can smell ammonia, it is at roughly five parts per million. Even using paper for a week, the ammonia is too high. In my digging, I learned that Carefresh bedding specifically is made from a blend that actually includes pine wood pulp. I also found that Carefresh bedding has never been tested on animals. Ammonia may not seem like a big deal, but according to the book, Ferrets, Rabbits, and Rodents, Clinical Medicine and Surgery, in mice and rats, mycoplasma pulmonis organisms multiply more rapidly in the presence of ammonia levels of 50 to 100 parts per million. This is important because the majority of rats are born with mycobacteria in their lungs. Many live without any issue due to this, but rats who do have health issues will have chronic flare-ups from it, 
so preventing that in any way possible is critical to these rats' long-term health. Using bedding that controls ammonia is a key way to do this. The final point I have been seeing recently is how dusty pine is. Many brands of bedding read dust extracted or low dust directly on the bag, and some brands do seem to have more visible dust than others. There also seems to be some variance between batches even within the same brand, and as such, rat owners often comment on the dust. So let's address the dust. The smallest particle size we can see with our eyes averages around 25 to 69 micrometers. For an idea of how big that is, here are a few cool infographics. In a previous video, we discussed particle size relating to baking soda safety and learned particles you can see are too large to enter the lung portion of the respiratory tract and cause issues. This is because particles need to be 10 micrometers to enter the respiratory tract. This comes from the EPA. A common rebuttal is a study done on sawmill workers that were exposed to sawdust of untreated or pretreated pine. This study isn't relevant to pet bedding, however, as sawmill workers are constantly around fine and raw particles, which can enter the respiratory tract. To summarize, if you can see the dust, it's too big to enter the lungs, and raw particles are dangerous as bedding needs to be kiln dried to lower the VOCs down to safe levels. I plan to continue using pine bedding, though I enjoy trying new things and have my eye on trying cardboard bedding for horses next. You can always use something different, but make sure to do the reading on it and check its safety in detail for yourself. Thanks for watching. Bye!